How's it going YouTube? It's me the Kaloozer and I'm on my Nexus 6P and these are the top 10 best apps for the rest of this year 2015 venturing on to 2016 later on with more apps and games but these are the top 10 for this week. Every day of the week you know I'm a tech freak I gon' gon' get you like a nerd like a geek Well what do you know it's the Kaloozer for show so let's do it to it. And as always for a best live wallpaper or for a wallpaper app you see in the background that is a cool looking mountain wallpapers at 24,000 wallpapers. You can see there's suns, there is Mercury, Venus, there's different types. There's lots of arts and planets. Let's dive into Titan and you can see it takes a little bit to load if you have small internet because they're really high quality pictures but you can see them all here. Looks really cool. You click onto that. You can set as wallpaper. You can just download that so you can use it anywhere else. You can just set a favorite so you can come back to them and make them your you know wallpapers for the next time. I really love the way it lays it out. I click onto here. Vivid colors. We're gonna set this as a wallpaper. It's doing this little download and you get a little notification. We go into it and there we have it. There's the background. 24,000 wallpapers is what you'll get out of the app. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have unread badges. Before I click onto that, I'm gonna show you what it really is. You see those notification bubbles? You can't get that on a Nexus device the only device you can really get it on is LG or Samsung there's some other devices out there that kind of incorporate those little bubble notification this application on red badge this is how you'll get it I left out a couple important applications on what's on my phone 2015 but anyways you can see 16 243 emails on this section if I click onto there you can see there's primary the social promotions and there's updates if I click on the updates it'll take me right to my updates and you can see right here those are my emails I'm going to the cool loser tech these are comments that I'll get. This is how I read your messages when they come in. Now there's 15 because I've read it. If I read another one, the number will go down. I will show you how to set it up. You go into your widgets, you hold on on red badge, you set it down, see how many we can choose. I'm gonna press next, choose my own folder icon and color, or you can even customize and make it a picture if you want. Green one with a tag, name it, we'll finish. And there we have it. We have the little <laughs> the green tag right there. It's kind of blending in. Then you have little bells here. If you click onto that, that means enable alarm, which if you enable, that means every email that you get in that label category, you'll get notified. But the purpose about not having to hear it is that you see the notification icons right there showing you what numbers there are when you're getting more. Very useful. I love it. Definitely a must-have application. Here next we have Easy Touch. Now Easy Touch is this right here that you can see there's a 2016 if you haven't noticed. You see there's also a little notification bubble right next to it so you can see that you got something going on there. So you can set it anywhere you would like, like in the corners or you can enable it to be floating anywhere on the screen. So if you tap onto it, you will see that there's a whole bunch of little things there. I put this little theme. These work as your, you know, capacitive buttons and also your on-screen buttons. And we can see there's a notification there. So if I tap on it, I'll get brought up saying I got someone commented on my Xbox review video. And you can see it up there that it was there. I just dismissed it now it's dismissed. We go over, we can see those are most useful applications. You can rearrange, tap right here also, and it'll go over to the next side. But you can see that it's always going to be hanging around there waiting for you to do stuff. You can also click to search as your Google Now. I found that to be really useful. You can see there's this new one. We see the 2016 change and that's the new one. There's also gestures on here if you double tap. You know, it, it just has pretty cool functions on there. I think you're going to like it. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Tubi TV. Okay, so this application is downloadable off the Play Store. It's not one of those side-loaded APK apps that you need to do. But this is really cool. When you use it sideways here, you can see a movie just playing live right there. They kind of play movies and feature them and you can be like, okay, I want to watch this. It's already playing. As you see, you can go over. It kind of mutes itself. Open it up. And it's already playing. Look at that. Awesome. You can go to the next one, the Velvet Teen Rabbit, and you go to the next one. And it'll, you know, depending on your speed, where it'll start loading. And you can see there's featured, and you can scroll up a whole bunch. Um, obviously, it's a little bit easier to use in this way. And you see the recently viewed. So you can go to the resume function. You clear the continuation. You're watching HD. You can even lower the format quality if you want to. And it'll resume to right where you left. You can add a cue. And you can also push it to your Chrome. Chromecast or your smart TV, your DLNA to watch on your TV. This is an amazing application. You can also scroll to the next one. There's my P2 that I can resume. So everything you start watching has a resume. Uh, there's bookmarks like movies that I would like to see. These are movies that I would want to come back and watch. 
and if you go into the features section you're gonna see you got lots to scroll with with things this is all free I don't have to pay anything at all I didn't know if I mentioned that in the beginning but you're not gonna find every movie on here they have their own titles here that they put you already know what to do awesome application here next we have clipboard now this clipboard is not just any clipboard. You know when you copy and paste or you want to share a URL or anything like that, this will compact everything or make it into certain different actions or codes and convert to currencies and you can share immediately instead of having to pick who you want to share or what you want to share through. This will do it automatically just by you making a copy of a certain text that you would want to do or picture. This is gonna be the middleman. Now I'm gonna click on my own tweet here and I'm going to select this and it makes a copy to clipboard. Now the copy to clipboard you see, I'll be working on today's top 10. So now it's already there, you can shorten it. You can see what else it comes up with. And there's the last one and there's that one. So that's how nice it is. So if you click on share, it's already going to my Twitter because I directed it to go to my Twitter. So going back to clipboard, you can see download media and share and you can go to choose the share app. So if you wanted to go to Snapchat or Tumblr or Google Plus or whatever you wanted to go to directly, hang out, super useful and that's why it's on my top 10 list. Next up we have Shut App. Shut App is an application that will shut your apps up. And you know when you get certain games and apps that keep giving you notifications or running in the background and you're like stop it, seven apps running in the background, these are the applications that are running. I don't want my 24,000 wallpapers to close so I'll whitelist it, that means that it's not going to close that application so it'll let it run in the background and how much is it taking by those six applications 10 percent on my battery one percent on my data usage but i'm gonna press stop or shut here we see one closing two and then three so those are closing all those applications to not run in the background and it'll keep it not running you see smiley face on there and then you can check on your whitelist here you can add more in case you you know stop them it's a very easy application here right here on the bottom so you can see there one app and one percent so it's right there you can move it to the sides and you can move it over here and once you get a lot of applications running it'll actually kind of peek out and i'll show you how many apps are running if you don't want to see that you can just press remove so if you like it go try it out for yourself here next we have all connect if you have music videos or pictures you want to transfer which is casting over to your smart tv through your chromecast or android tv you can do this easily by coming in here, checking your playlist, there's your songs, and you can go into photos and your videos, and you can play as a slideshow. This is a free application, it does very well. You can actually use this option to you know, cast other movies as well, so you don't have to be watching on your phone. Pretty cool application, I don't really have to go too deep into it. To settings, and you can change the theme if you don't want it to be green, you got red, so you can change that, whatever color you would like. Do YouTube and you cast it over through this application, default screen, artist, and you can see what else you can play with there. I think you're gonna like it, so definitely go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Wattpad. Now this application is a little complicated to explain. It's like reading a book on your phone, but people can submit their own books, books that you can read that are really, really popular. It's tons and tons of books that you can see. See some feature, there's 33 million views, 78 million views. You know, read if you're really into that. You do make an account of where I went, what I comment on. It's really cool because you can comment on. So here's a weird but true. In the library, we can send, and I'm gonna keep reading. And it should continue off. This is just a quick fact things that you can see from. And you can see, you can, you can like them. You can comment on them and you can share this exact quote or whatever or you can click on the pictures to see them. You flip to the next page and you can see like who is from. Inside your body, your blood is blue. So there's uh, random people that you can follow or try to see what they do. But if you want to read actual books, you want to go into reading, you know, finding it where they're at and you can see my ones that I picked, the archive that I want to get back into. You can add tags about a subject that your story wants to be covered. You can add a cover image of your story and add description to tell readers what your story is about so you can click on start writing and you make your own story on here and you can be who knows the next big author on here i think it's going to be a great opportunity i think it's an amazing application so go try it out for yourself here next we have cortana cortana is a microsoft product here and you can see hello there cool loser so basically it's just saying what's the weather today the forecast shows sun with a high of 42. So if you didn't like Google Now for some reason, you can try Cortana and it will give you the same kind of similar results using through Bing. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. So you can talk to it as well. Tell me a joke. 
There are two types of people in the world. Those who need closure. <laughs> what? Am I not getting it? Where's the closure? Where's the... I get it. Come on now. So there you have it. Cortana mic will easily bring it up there and you can use it very nicely. And last but not least, we have Androidify. Back then when I first started making videos for YouTube, I made my own little Android avatar and then I made it into this recently. So you can actually make him really tall, make his head be really big, stretch him out, make him really small, make him skinny, make him fat. You can choose his color, you can give him a shirt and I'm just randomly instant. Stop it there. Shoes, give him a cool hairdo. Let's give him a mustache. Let's give him some eyewear. <laughs> Put a hat on him. <laughs> give him some accessories. <laughs> oh my. And a little thingy. <laughs> you can't see because his hands are tiny. So we're going to fix his hands because I want to see what's on his hands. <laughs> and then you can press check mark and that is saved. And now you can choose his animation. You can make him dance. You can make him do different type of thing. You got quite a bit to choose from. <laughs> You can share on anything you'd want. Those are guys who never heard of it or forgot about it and want to try it again. This is a way of creating your, you know, Android avatar. It's really easy. Go try it out for yourself. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps of the week. Thank you for watching. This has been a wonderful journey. I've been doing this for over five years. I've reached my 100K and I'm excited to see what else comes as series in my 2016 venture. I'm always gonna be doing apps and games, although I do a lot of more tech and products that I really wanted to get into in the first place. That's why I created Kaluser Tech to bring the inner geek out to YouTube. And I hope you guys come and stay along with me and your support goes a long way. Love that background, looks pretty cool, right? So once again, thank you for these awesome five years. Those of you guys have been there for very long, the new guys, I hope you guys stay here just as long. I love YouTube, I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Later.